Tablet PCs, they never really get a good press, do they? They're always being categorised as boring business tools. But this is the TX2000 from HP, and it's trying to woo me from my notebook addiction with its media prowess. Now, the main thing about the TX2000, it's an update from the very popular 1000, is that it's spec'd up to act like a notebook. It's got two gig of RAM, upgradable to four. It's got a 250 gig hard drive, and it's got a dual core processor. So that's really good news for all your media. Now I've got Quick Play up here, which is HP's version of Windows Media Player, if you like. Uh, it's totally touchscreen, so I can use my finger or a stylus or even a remote control to browse all my media, my photos, my music, my DVD. But the fact that it is a tablet PC or consumer convertible, as HP likes to call it, comes into use when you're on the move. Now, if you're on a plane or something, you're watching a movie with someone, one of the nice features is that it's got two headphone jacks around the front there. But even nicer is that when space is at a premium, if someone puts their chair back, then you can easily flick around the screen and watch it like that. Space gets even smaller, you can fold down the tablet PC and read the news that you downloaded from the web. Unfortunately, quick play won't work when it's folded down. Now, if I'm going to be a little bit business-minded for a bit, one of the nice features about the TX2000 is it utilizes Vista's handwriting recognition. So if you're a student, you're in a lecture, you can easily make notes with the pen or your finger and turn it around and rub it out. And it's a smart pen, so if you're resting your hand on it, it knows that you're using the pen so it won't leave an ugly mark. Well, so far, so good. But am I being converted? Well, no, because the price for all this media prowess is weight. TX2000 is heavy, it's burdensome on the arm, and the battery pack needed to keep it going makes it even more bulky. You can get a smaller one, but then you're sacrificing your movie watching time. Sure, I know that a lot of laptops are the same weight, even heavier, in fact, but the features that makes the TX2000 a good media machine, for me, sacrifice the whole point of having an ultra-portable laptop like a tablet PC is supposed to be. Still, it's a step in the right direction, I think, for tablet PCs, and for that, the TX2000 does deserve your attention.